The number of responders has been discussed. What I've seen in the medical journal and the estimate is between 60 to 70,000 of people were exposed to the dust for an extended period of time. And last year, there were published a paper in experimental health, health perspectives by a group of, of, of doctors from the Mount Sinai uh, Medical School in Manhattan. And they looked into the lung tissue of World Trade Center responders, and uh, we should see what they found. The picture to the left here is from a lung tissue, and they found some thread-like tubular structures in four out of seven patients which were ill, uh, in numbers ranging from 11,000 to 230,000 per gram wet tissue. This is the same material which they found also in the World Trade Center dust, which is moving around here somewhere. Carbon nanotubes, what are they? Well, they are tubes made of carbon, but they are very, very, very small. They are very, very strong. They are hundreds of times stronger than spider web. Formation of carbon nanotubes requires three conditions must be fulfilled. You must have very high temperatures, and you must have a, a source of carbon atoms, which means an organic chemical present, and you must have a metal catalyst among which iron happens to be one of the best besides cobalt. And so this triggered the thought in some of us, well, this means that the ignition of the nanothermite should be ideal circumstances for formation of nanotubes. So this is this is the residue. Kevin, he took. You remember he came in. He took he took the beaker and you show and you saw down into it. Yes. He left it cooling a little bit. He put it into a letter and sent it to me. It is here. And what I did then is to take a little sample out of this, pouring a few milliliters of alcohol ethanol onto it, making a slush. In a, in a mortar, actually, letting the particles, all the metal particles, all the heavy particles precipitate. And then you take a little drop of, um, of, of the supernatant liquid. You put them onto a copper grid, which the panelists can also see here. They're very, very small. And you let the ethanol evaporate. You put them into a transmission electron microscope, and this is what you see. This is the perfect dimensions of carbon nanotubes. This is carbon nanotubes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't come, obviously, I wouldn't come up with this if I didn't believe what I was saying. This is carbon nanotubes. This is a picture from the patients that Mount Sinai studied. This is what we find as a product of the nanothermite reaction. And please remember that none of the control group showed this feature. So if you ask, couldn't the nanotubes come from somewhere else? It's true. It is formed combustion of diesel and, uh, and uh, in much, much smaller amount and in oxygen start fires. But the control group have been living a normal life except that they actually caught uh, asbestos fibers. And they, none of them showed, showed um, carbon nanotubes in their lungs.